Good evening dear students I am Ms Vandana Pai in today's lecture of the subject management of industry relations which is associated with diploma in human resource management we will be studying importance of harmonious industrial relations okay prior to actually starting the importance of harmonious relations let's see what is harmonious relations okay because majority of time we are not aware about the word harmonious see harmonious industrial relations or harmonious it refers to uh, an industrial environment where workers along with their union and management understand and accept each other as partners in progress that a cooperative attitude is mutually beneficial in terms of output performance and rewards okay so when it comes to harmonious relations what is harmonious relations harmonious means uh, a cooperative environment okay means where you do find um, oneness unity okay all these things whenever we consider okay industrial relations why there should be harmony why there should be soundness okay there should be soundness because if you think that your organizational goals they should be assured okay the organizational goals should be assured or the organization goals should be attained properly then what you need to do is you need to have harmony into industrial relations that is the relations between the employer and employee the relations between the employer and employee it should be that sound it should be that cooperative ones it should be having unity amongst them so that so that okay there will be yes proper attainment of the goals and the aim which is stipulated okay so why it is important for an industry or why it is important to have harmonious industrial relations okay see a brief review of what we have studied into industrial relations yes what is the industrial relations industrial relations means relations between whom yes relations between employer and employee okay actually when it comes to harmonious relations okay when it comes to harmonious relations okay harmonious relations means relations between employer and employee majorly because okay the government's role okay which is the third actor into industrial relations the role is least the role is least but when it comes to employer and employee okay see these two people that is both employer and employee they regularly come in contact of each other they do converse with each other and whenever frequently these people meet together okay then these people interact converse together then what happens okay when frequently these people come together okay see the employee does have certain needs they have certain individual goals okay and the employer as being the okay concern person of the organization okay they do also care about the organizational goals okay so when it comes to organizational goals okay and if the employee is not giving their 100% or not giving the correct efforts okay right efforts towards the industry is it what happens then yes surely the employer okay will instruct the employee right okay the employer will instruct the employee now employee if they are not satisfied by the working conditions okay if they are not satisfied with the working conditions then what will happen surely okay they will also react when there is reactions okay when one of the party is arguing another party also will go on arguing 
this will result into yes this will result into disputing phase okay and disputing phase that is the conflicting phase will surely give rise to unrest into the industry which will surely be harming industrial relations so in today's lecture we are going through the importance of harmonious industrial relations so everything which you need into your industry is the proper sound relations between humans who work into the organization okay so industrial relation it does relates with the human relations into the industries okay majority the employee and the employer okay though the employee might be working at any level though the employee might be working into any level still okay there are n number of factors which are responsible okay which can affect okay or uh, this uh, these are the factors which do con uh, contribute towards the conflict okay so as an employer as an employee okay these two people they should be always caring about the factors which are responsible which can harm the harmony into the industrial relations okay so then when it comes to importance of industrial relations see what is needed that is better management okay better management of industrial relations in our industry or in an industry is is very important for the success of industrial concern okay see if if there is improper management of industrial relations then what will happen yes it will result in hurting of industrial peace is it so okay if there is better management it results in industrial peace which is essential for the countries particularly for india where the economy is been geared in a planned way to achieve a lot of success into the industry okay so when it comes to the importance of industrial relations okay the following points they are very important which are the following points yes the first one is reduction in industrial disputes good industrial relations help in reducing the industrial disputes okay see uh, let's take an example if the employer and employee okay if the employer and employee both the parties if they are friends if they are friends okay surely they will be caring about their emotions each other's emotions right okay so in the same way in the same way if the employee is satisfied with the job specifications and the facilities and amenities okay including the remuneration which is paid to him okay surely it will be reflected into his productivity okay whatsoever task you do a lot to this person okay whatsoever task you do a lot to this person in that task itself in that task itself okay the job satisfaction will be reflected if that person is dissatisfied okay if some of the things 
if some of the things they are dissatisfying related to job yes it will be reflected into his productivity as well as yes your production activity your industry's production activity will be definitely harmed by that person is it okay now employer from the employer's viewpoint let's see okay the employer if the employee's task accomplishment or the employee's performance overall performance if it is not satisfactory then yes if the employee's performance is not satisfactory surely what will happen yes employee's attitude if it is not uh, satisfactory surely it will affect the productivity of the industry is it then if the productivity is not equal to the compensation or remuneration paid by the employer to the employee then employer will surely argue scold is it okay to whom they will be yes they will be instructing or penalizing or punishing the employee right okay so now whenever we think about overall this situation okay both the employee is not satisfied both uh, uh, and employer is also not satisfied okay surely somewhere it will be reflected where it will be reflected yes both the parties whenever they will be coming for conversating or due to some reasons whenever they will come in front of each other at that time yes at that time what will happen yes dispute is it so okay whenever there will be adequate financial and non financial benefits provision of employee participation in sharing of profits and of management and decision making improved bargaining capacity okay through mutual negotiation and consultations with the management it provides satisfaction among the workers okay if the workers are satisfied yes your job will be accomplished task will be accomplished in time okay and task if the task is accomplished yes your productivity is good your industry's performance will not be affected your industrial growth will be done okay your industry will continuously be developing okay due to this what will happen yes it will lead to yes reduction in industrial disputes okay getting it then uninterrupted production yes it is also most important benefit of good industry relations actually okay see industry relations good industry relations it does ensures uninterrupted production okay how yes i would re narrate it see employee if he is not satisfied with job conditions if he is not satisfied with the job environment or with whatsoever is paid to him the facilities and amenities given to him okay overall with the workplace okay if there is no quality of work life okay surely where somewhere it will be reflected right okay where it will be reflected then yes okay see if the employer is not responding or if the employer is not listening to what employee is saying surely employee will reflect into the production activity is it okay 
then what they will be doing prolong prolong if the employer is not listening to employee okay that person will approach the union trade union right okay if the trade union is approached if the trade union is approached trade union if is not positive then yes surely this will be converted into striking position okay the employees will enter into strike okay and if the strike is extended what the employer will be doing lockout so both unrest strike and lockout can be only avoided through good industrial relations getting it this ensures smooth running of the organization and continuous production okay getting it so uh, whenever it comes to production activity if you think that the production activity should be uninterrupted it should go smoothly then yes you should be always be having harmonious industrial relations then improves morale good industrial relations boosts the morale of the employees employees feel that they are part of the organization and their contribution will improve productivity of the organization good industrial relations brings about a realization among the employees that gain to the organization will not only benefit the employer but will benefit them as well this makes the workers work with zeal energy and efficiency okay see whenever the employer whenever the employer do participate the employees into decision making activity okay if they allow the employees to participate in the decision making activity also if they ask the employees if they ask the employees to suggest something which is related to yes uh, if they participate them into decision making activity then how the employees will be feeling about the organization yes they will think that this organization is mine right what they will be thinking they will think that this organization is mine and surely okay they will contribute their 100% towards the work okay and a sense of satisfaction will always result into devotion towards the work they will be devoted dedicated they will be giving 100% efforts towards the work getting it so always the employer should be caring about the emotions of the employee okay means what see if they are finalizing some decisions which are directly related to employees for example working hours or might be the issues related to compensation okay not actually compensation but the first one working hours if you are altering the working hours if you are altering the working hours that is increasing the working hours or increasing the shift time yes it is related to laborers it is related to your workers or employees then okay if possible if possible you should 
participate these people into whenever you are finalizing the decisions is it then see what is the importance of such activity why you should include your employees into decision making yes the gist itself is okay see if you allow your employees to participate if you allow your employees to participate in the decision making then yes then how the employees will be feeling yes this organization is mine is it this organization does care about me they have included me in the decision making i should give my 100% dedication efforts is it towards the work and the production activity yes they will be thinking in this way right okay so a sense will be developed into such type of positive sense will be developed into employees yes this will this will surely be contributing towards your organization's goals okay then mental revolution the main objective of industrial relation is a complete mental revolution of workers and employees the industrial peace lies ultimately in a transport outlook at the part of both it is the business of leadership in the ranks of workers employees and government to work out a new relationship in a consonance with the spirit of true democracy both should think themselves as partners of the industry and the role of workers in such a partnership should be recognized on the other hand workers must be recognized employers authority it will be naturally have impact on production because they recognize the interest of each other okay so here democracy it means that okay oneness okay the worker whenever working in the organization they should feel that okay if i am an employee of this organization yes i do have certain role into the performance of this industry okay due to this due to this they will be working harder okay now when it comes to the employer employer whenever he is working with the employees at the time okay they should also be realizing that without this workers my organization's productivity and production activity will never be achieved so both should be thinking as okay each other as the partners of the industry and the role of worker in a partnership should be recognized okay on the other hand workers must recognize employees authority okay it will naturally have impact on production because they recognize the interest of each other okay then reduced wastage good industrial relations are maintained on the basis of 
cooperation and recognition of each other it will help increase production wastages of man material and machines are reduced to the minimum and thus national interest is protected thus it is evident that good industrial relations is the basis of higher production with minimum cost and higher profit it also results in increased efficiency of workers new and new projects may be introduced for the welfare of the workers and to promote the morale of the people at work an economy organized for planned production and distribution must be aiming at social justice and welfare of the masses can function effectively only in an atmosphere of industrial peace okay so in today's context according to del yoder ir is a ir means industrial relation is a designation of a whole field of relationship that exist because of the necessary collaboration of men and women in the employment processes of industry industry relations can now safely be defined as a coin having two faces cooperation and conflict this relationship undergoes change from thesis to and thesis and then to synthesis okay thus the relationship starting with cooperation soon changes into conflict and after it the resolution again changes into cooperation this changing process becomes a continuous feature in industrial system and makes industrial relation concept a dynamic and evolving ones okay. when it comes to good industrial relations okay always good industrial relations it does help to run an industry effectively and successfully okay both employer and employees sit across the table and thrash out issues of differences as a result doubts and suspicions are clarified to the full understanding of each other thus in this relation it does paves way for smooth relation between the traditional groups okay industrial democracy is practiced by various workers participation schemes like collective bargaining works committee quality circle functional committee board of directors scheme joint consultation and employee stock option plans these mechanisms enable the workers to give their best to the organization okay now harmonious industrial relation climate ensures implementation of welfare measures better service terms better physical environment implementation of social security schemes higher wages optimum workload bonus fringe benefits etc management gets benefits from strikeless environment introduction of change higher productivity minimum absenteeism and turnover disciplined workflow force free flow of communication higher profit and health maximization high employee morale etc industrial disputes disrupt the flow of production okay it brings strikes gearouts and lockouts organized demonstration picketing etc okay thus in good industrial relation plays a vital role in establishing industrial peace industrial discipline and industrial democracy so all the three factors are very much required for the smooth and better economic development of a country as such the main objective of industrial relation is to establish good and harmonious labor management relations which promote mutual understanding mutual confidence and resolve the mutual differences today labor is no more an organized mass of ignorant and unconscious workers ready to obey the arbitrary and discriminatory distaste 
of the management management has to deal with them not only as individuals but also a member of organized social group having human dignity and self respect hence one of the major objectives of industrial relation is to change the traditional and and contradictory views of labor and management towards each other so the importance of good industrial relations can be judged from the points like it develops work good working environment it develops a sense of cooperation then it creates a sense of commitment workers work sincerely they avoid labor problems okay controls industrial disputes and maintains industrial peace accidents and wastes are reduced production and productivity is improved quality of work improves profit of the firm goes high contributes to national economy then see good industrial relations help in the economic progress of a country also the problem of an increase in productivity is essentially the problem of maintaining good industrial relations that is why they form an important plank of the economic development plan of every city, civilized nation then to help establish and maintain true industrial democracy is also possible due to good industrial relations which is a prerequisite for the establishment of a socialist society then it helps management both in the formulation of informal labor relations policies and in their translation into action then it encourages collective bargaining as means of self regulation they consider the negotiation process as an educational opportunity a chance both to learn and to teach then it helps government in making laws forbidding and fair practices of unions and employers in a climate of good industrial relations every party works for the solidarity of workers movement union gain more strength and vitality there is no inter union rivalry employers give unions the rightful recognition and encourage them to participate in all decisions unions divert their activities from fighting to increasing the size of distribution kit and to make their members more informed on vital issues concerning them then the unions as well as the employees boost the discipline and morals of workers maintain industrial discipline among the employees so in narrow sense the term industrial relations means relations between parties in industrial establishments that means nature of relationship established among the parties in the industry dictionary meaning of industrial relations is the relations of management and employees in industrial concerns in short the term industrial relations means the relations between employees and management arising out of day to day work in industry different authors and exper- experts have expressed their views on the concept of industrial relations daily ordler views industrial relations as a whole field of relationship that exists because of the 
necessary collaboration of men and women in the employment process of an industry from the analysis of delhi odlers opinion it is revealed that the employees work in industry as per terms and conditions of employment and in the process of working in collaborative system both management and employees develop relations with each other and this relationship as a whole is industrial relations okay industry international labor organization has stressed upon the relations between state employers organization and workers organization or the relationship between occupational organization okay industrial relation is the relationship between management and employees okay we are aware about it the, the relationship may be positive negative or mixed okay pattern of industrial relations is influenced by people's value belief perception aptitude personality attitudes ethical values etc state acts as a regulator that is the government acts as a regulator facilitator in shaping industrial relation pattern in industry the relationship is based on economic non economic issues arising out of the terms of conditions terms and conditions of employment as also practices not covered under the terms the relationship is based on economic and non economic issues means of inter uh, industrial relations are hr or ir policies procedures rules regulations legislations etc collective bargaining is the effective mechanism of shaping the pattern of industrial relations changing economic scenario technological advances organizations missions strategic approach trade unions role contribute a lot to influence industrial relation pattern a healthy industrial relations is essential for smooth functioning and success of the organization the importance of industrial relations also includes increase production okay healthy cordial relationship among the workforce and the employer and the management and among the workers within the workplace improves the workers productivity and efficiency see okay into your organization if the workplace is very satisfactory for the workers okay means the workers like to work in that workplace okay they give their 100% efforts okay they are willing they are willing to work okay they are willing to work they are willing to um work for overtime also if you do allow them okay then yes surely it will be motivating them it motivates the workers to contribute their best towards attainment of organizational objectives this leads to increase in production in the organization okay getting it then see overall the increase in industrial labor okay in the post independence period it led to the formation and development of trade unions and various social groups it has also been recognized that management without labor would be sterile and labor without management would be disorganized ill equipped and ineffective it is realized that the concrete cooperation between labor and management is highly essential to fulfill the industrial organization and national goal okay the first five year plan has clearly demonstrated the fact that an economy organized for plan production and distribution aiming at the realization of social justice and the welfare of masses can function effectively only in an atmosphere of industrial peace they lead to waste 
class hatred okay mutual relations and inflict damages on the progress of nation okay means if the management and labor relations they are not good then it leads to wastage okay hatred among the class of laborers okay which in fact leads to damages on the progress of the nation they affect production and national income in a adverse manner they also clog the process of the nation they affect production and national income in an adverse manner they also clog the progress and development of the nation okay further it is not an exaggeration to say that if we are successful in industry the answer to class and world conflicts become easier okay the objectives of maintenance of industrial peace is not only to find out ways and means to solve the conflicts or to settle differences but also to secure the and resolve cooperation of and goodwill among different groups in industry with a view to drive their energies and interest towards economically viable commercially feasible financially profitable and socially desirable channels it also aims at the development of a sense of mutual confidence dependence and respect and at the same time encouraging them to come to closer to each other for removing misunderstandings redressing grievances if any in a peaceful atmosphere and with open mind and fostering industrial pursuits for mutual benefits and social progress but the maintenance of congenial industrial relations particularly in a democratic society like ours it is not only a significant task but also a complicated one okay so here why there should be harmonious industrial relations yes if you think that the organization should progress the state to, should progress the nation should progress okay all this progresses will be dependent upon all these progresses will be dependent upon only the industrial relations that is the relationship between employers and employees with this we do conclude today's lecture thank you